How's it going everybody, Ben from Base at Miyuhi and welcome back to the channel. In this video I'm opening the latest Japanese set, Super Electric Breaker. So without further ado, let's jump straight into the opening. I'm actually kind of hyped about this, similar to the Paradise Drakena opening, because there are a lot of great cards in this one that I would love to pull. Last time around I didn't get that lucky from Paradise Dragon. I did pull one of the illustration rares or art rares that I was really after, so I was happy about that one. Unfortunately, no special illustration rare. Who knows though? Maybe this time around I do get lucky again. Let's put these over here. Um, bought these once again off Amazon Japan. And, well, other than the Paradise Drakena, I did have some very good luck with Amazon Japan boxes. So, let's see, Phoebus. I was just gonna start talking about the illustration rares in this one, and the Phoebus is a really cool one. Here's our first double rare. Not too shabby. First double rare in the first pack, that's pretty good. Alright, I zoomed in a bit more so we can appreciate the artworks just real up close. Okay, well, talking about the illustration rares or art rares that you can possibly pull, well, here is our super rare with the Milotic. Okay, that's no problem though. There are boxes that feature a super rare and a special illustration rare. So far, so good. Well, I keep getting interrupted before I can talk about the the potential illustration rares that we can pull. So, starting off with the Feebus, that's a really cool one. Um, did pull the Milotic. But I was hoping for a different Milotic, of course. Um, oh well, oh well. We still have the art rares that we can contend with and potentially a special illustration rare or special art rare, even though we've already pulled a super rare. It is very rare, but it does happen sometimes. It has happened to me, I think, once or twice. But we'll see um, what other cards are in here in terms of illustration rares. Our first holographic rare. Like the Kecleon, that's really cool. The Magneton looks really cool. I'm pretty sure it's illustrated by the same artist that did the Giratina and the Magikarp. So that one is really difficult to open. What's going on here? That was a weird pack. That one looks really, really cool. What else is in here? The Cerulech. That's like my chase card out of the set. The Cerulech illustration rare or art rare. I really want to pull that one, at least. That would be so cool, because the card looks so, so nice. Um, even though I already pulled a super rare, and chances for the special art rare are slim. Not zero, but slim. Eternity is very nicely illustrated. Man, a lot of these illustrations on these commons and rares look really, really cool. Um, special illustration rares, the cards that I would love to pull, um, would be the Hydragon and then the Milotic. The Hydragon looks absolutely insane and so does the Milotic. The Milotic actually connects to the, whatchamacallit? Um, have to be interrupted again, here's our first art rare with the Slackoth, I wanna say. Not too shabby. Not too shabby, it looks kind of minimalistic, if you will. It's just a big green field and Slackoth shilling, you know, as it would. Um, first art rare right here, so that's not too bad. Alrighty then. Alrighty then. Okay, let's see what we can pull in this next pack right here. Um, Kecleon, here we go. Shinji Kanda, that's the artist, of course. Um, this is just a normal one. And Shinji Kanda also illustrated the Magneton. Hopefully I can pull that one. Um, I think Cerulech, that's still my top priority in terms of illustration rares. Would be... Would Love to pull that one. That would be really cool. But yeah, special illustration rares. I mean, besides the the Hydragon and the, um, whatchamacallit, and the Milotic, there aren't really anything that really, um, have stunned me, if you will. Um, the, the Jasmine is fine, I guess. The Jasmine is fine. Um, she's just eating a bunch of food. Which is, which is cool, but I don't like the illustration. I mean, put it that way. I prefer the Milotic and the Hydragon over the Jasmine. Special illustration rare, if that makes sense. It's still very well done, though. Don't get me wrong. It's still very well done. And then, other than that, I mean, the Pikachu is the most expensive card in this set. The special illustration rare variant of that one. That is the most expensive card in this set. Here is the Jasmine. And nothing after that one. 
We're getting towards the end of the first sight already. Those, de those booster boxes do go by quick, eh? But yeah. Illustration rares is probably what you're after if you're not lucky enough to pull a special illustration rare. Or special art rare, so I keep mixing up the terminology because English and Japanese do use different terminologies. It's so weird. I wonder if the English TCG will ever adapt the Japanese naming scheme of the of the rarities. I mean, they've adapted the Grey Borders mess sprit. That's a really cool looking um, illustration rare as well. That's a really cool one. Koridon, that's a cool looking illustration full stop. Look at that one. Very well done. A lot of these cards that you actually find in here that are just commons and uncommons are so cool. They're so well done. The packs do open a little bit weird, but it's all, it's all good. It's all good. Let's see. Yo, okay, here's our second art rare. Not too shabby. Our second art rare. And let's see what we can find in this pack right here. So far, though, I'm zero for my for the cards that I really wanted. So far, I'm zero. That's a really interesting illustration. It's like out of the box. Don't usually see something like that, so that's nice. Here is the Az Elf. Oh, our Ace Spec card. Not bad. Nice. We pulled our Ace Spec card. Not too shabby. And one last pack over on that side. And then we're moving it on to the left side, of course. All right. Here's just another slack off. A Magnemite. And our first double rare or terrestrialized double rare. Not too shabby. Okay. And a mouse hold at the end there. Very, very nice. Here we go. Our first terrestrialized double rare. Um, I think we should get one more of these. Pretty sure, and then a bunch more normal double rares. We'll see what the what the set still holds for us. We have a bronze ore. Maybe our next art rare or the last art rare. Nope, just a Tauros. Really cool looking Tauros. Actually, let me point out this illustration again. Check this one out. That looks so cool. Man, I could just look at these comments as well and just get lost in the illustration. That's how well done they are. All right, just a handful of packs left. Still have, as our, our big pull, we still have one last art rare left to pull. And then maybe we get lucky and have a box with a super rare and special art rare. Nope. Here is our double rare, though, the Milotic. That also looks really well done. Man, that looks so well done, that Milotic card. It's a nice change to the card set 5-band graphics usually makes for for these double rare EX Pokemon. I really wish they would just get rid of 5-band graphics, not gonna lie. I don't like most of their illustrations, full stop. But from what I've heard, 5-band graphics is actually like an in-house studio for the Pokemon company. And that's probably why they use their illustrations so much, because it's probably cheaper for them than to contract normal artists. Whoa, the Mesprit, okay. Not too mad about that, that is a beautiful card. Didn't pull the Cerulech, but that is a wonderful card. That is so beautiful. Nice, okay. That is so nice. Man, I might have to get a sleeve right away. Because I'm probably going to send this in for braiding. I do need 25 cards anyways. And in itself, the card is cool. I like it. I really, really like it. All right, here you go. All sleeved up and almost ready to be graded. Well, we still have a bunch of packs left. Most of these, though, shouldn't really contain anything, so let me just go buy these really quickly. We have pulled our three art rares, or illustration rares, as I should say, and I think the chances for a special illustration rares are gonna be really slim, so let me just go buy these really quickly. As to not waste any of your time, most of you have probably already clicked away anyways. You've seen what I've pulled from this opening, so there you go. Anyways, we'll go through to the end, of course, because it would be a shame if we didn't. Let's see. Well, we should be hitting a double rare soon, though, at the very least. We still should get some double rares, even though we've, we've gotten all the art rares. No, nothing. Just bulk. Just bulk for now. Maybe we can get lucky with this one, though. We'll see. And nope. 
Whoa, okay. There is so much bulk in these. What is happening? What is happening? No more double rares? Yo, what the freak? A super rare Pikachu? Holy moly, I pulled two super rares just when I was thinking there wasn't another super rare in here. We pulled a Pikachu. Um, it's the wrong Pikachu. It's not the special art rare, but that in itself is really cool. And that is two super rares in one box. So I can't complain about that. That is very, very cool. Very nice. Okay. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. Nice. Okay. Well, that, I didn't see that one coming. Um, two super rares, what do you know? What do you know? That is interesting. Seems like luck is on my side. I pulled so many great cards from my Chinese opening as well. And now I pulled two super rares from my Japanese booster box. That's insane. That is absolutely insane. Whoa, okay. And so far though, that, that should be it. Like, there is not a third super rare in here for sure. I can promise you that at least. Whoop. And promise you that at least that there's not a third super rare. But maybe one more double rare. Okay, last pack. Maybe we can summon some last pack magic here. So we'll actually be doing the card trick for this last one right here. Card trick. We have an Indeedy. We got a Phoebes. We've got a Helioptile, tile, I want to say, and an Azelf, and here we are with the last one, the Executor. Okay, well, I can't complain though, even though I only got one of the cards that I really wanted. You know, Cerulech would have been cool. I pulled two freaking Super Rares. Actually, two Super Rares? I don't think I had two Super Rares in a Japanese booster box before. I didn't think I had two Super Rares. I did have a Super Rare and a special art rare before, but this is actually a first for me. Two super rares in the same box. Turns out though, even though it didn't feature a special art rare, Japanese boxes, or sorry, boxes of Amazon Japan are the way to go as it turns out. Well, but anyways, I guess it does it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, then please give it a like. If you didn't, then give it a dislike. Tell me in the comments below what you didn't like so I can try to fix it for future videos. Other than that, right here is a video that YouTube thinks is best suited for you. Right here is the subscribe button, click this one first, then click this video. Check out any of the other videos in the description below, and I hope we'll see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace, peace, take care.